Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the Clairaut nonlinear first order differential equation. The Clairaut equation is the following. It is y is equal to x y prime plus f of y prime, and this f can be any sufficiently regular function, okay? So these are the Clairaut equations, and this is a first order, so first order, in principle, nonlinear ODE, okay? Of course, if f is a linear function, it's going to be a linear equation. Now, what I like to do is I like to find a methodology to solve this problem. And so there's a clever observation that Clairaut made, and that's the following. If I take this differential equation over here and differentiate it with respect to x, so differentiate this equation with respect to x, and we're going to write, so let's do that and see what we get. So if we did that, we'll get a y prime on the left-hand side. I'll do the product rule over here. I'm going to get an x times y double prime plus just y prime, because the derivative of x is 1 and then plus f prime of y prime times y double prime by the chain rule. And the observation that Clairaut made is that the y primes on both sides of this equation will cancel out over here. And so now what we have is we have this equation over here. We have x times y double prime plus f prime of y prime, y double prime, is equal to zero. Now, what we did here is we took the first order differential equation, we turned it into a second order differential equation. So, we need to make sure that we're staying consistent with this, and so now I can factor this. We can factor this as y double prime, and then x plus f prime of y prime is equal to zero. Now, there is a way we can solve this. We can observe over here that y double prime, I can either have y double prime being equal to zero, or I can have this expression being equal to zero. The easiest situation to deal with is when y double prime is equal to zero. So if we try to solve this, if y double prime is equal to zero, then y prime is a constant. Is a constant c. And that's great, because now I can look back at the Clairaut equation, I see y is equal to x y prime, plus f of y prime. So if y prime is equal to c, then what we can say is we can say that that tells me that y is x times y prime, y prime is equal to c, and then plus f of y prime, and y prime is equal to c. So what I have over here is I have a one parameter family of solutions of equations over here. So this representation over here, this one parameter family of lines, so this is a one parameter family, this is a one parameter family, of lines, okay? Of course, the slope of these lines with slope c and y-intercept f of c, okay? So that one parameter family of lines is a general solution of the Clairaut equation, but we've missed something. We've missed the fact that I could also have x plus f prime y prime equal to zero. That is going to give us a different solution that's not in the general solution, and that's referred to as a singular solution of a differential equation. It comes from the fact that we had a nonlinear structure in our original differential equation. So otherwise, it could be the case that what? So we could have x plus f prime of y prime equals zero. And then the observation is that now what I have over here is I have this equation over here, that equals zero, and together with the original ODE, that y is equal to x y prime plus f of y prime. We have those two equations simultaneously being satisfied because I know it has to satisfy the original differential equation. I know this has to be true in order for the second order equation to be satisfied. So if I replace y prime with a parameter, let's call that parameter t, what we can do is this, it's, let's consider the parametric curve x is equal to negative f prime of, I'm going to call it over here just a p, as it's trad traditionally done, f prime of p, and then y is going to be x 
times this parameter p plus f of p. And of course, I know what x is. x is negative f prime of p, so I can write this as negative f prime of p times p plus f of p. So since f is known to us in this problem over here, what I have over here is I have this is my y and this is my x. What I have is I have a param parametric curve, and this parametric curve you can check is also a solution to the differential equation. So this parametric curve also solves the differential equation. So remark, or the proposition, it's actually easy to prove. Proposition, this curve satisfies the Clairaut equation. And moreover, this parametric curve is not an element of the one parameter family that's boxed up here. So it's a singular solution. So this is actually what's referred to as a singular solution. So this curve over here is a singular solution. So for example, if I give a Clara equation, it's actually straightforward to find the one parameter family. So here's a quick example. So the quick example over here is going to be if I look at y, is equal to x y prime plus y prime cubed. We can see that the general solution of this is y is equal to c x plus c cubed. That's our general solution over here. But then you can check, looking at this structure over here, that what is your f of p? Your f of p is p cubed over here. So if your f of p is p cubed, what will this parametric curve look like? The parametric curve that you're going to get, your singular solution for this, is going to be x is equal to what? Well, our function over here, our f of p, this is f of p, and that's p cubed in this problem. So negative, the derivative of p cubed is negative 3p squared. And then what will y be? So y is going to be negative 3p, so it's negative f prime of p, which again is negative 3p squared, negative 3p squared, times what? Times p, and then plus f of p, plus p cubed, plus p cubed. So this will simplify, of course, to negative 2 p cubed. And so what that curve looks like over there, if you were to plot this curve, what you'll see, and it's a good exercise to do, this curve over here, there's the y-axis and there's the x-axis. This parametric curve looks something like this. That's the singular solution, the singular solution to this Clairaut equation. And it turns out that all the lines in this family are going to be tangent to this curve. So if you plot any line in this family, what you'll see is that that line is going to intersect that singular solution at exactly one point. So what's going to happen is that singular solution is the envelope of all of those lines, and that gives a solution to the differential equation, which is not of the one parameter general solution. So it's a very important example of a methodology that's used to construct singular solutions of certain classes of differential equations. Thank you very much.